Very much indeed, and um, thank you very much for inviting me. I am very much what's called the uh, the sideshow to Sir Roger. Roger has been absolutely extraordinary from the minute we got the news, as he rightly said, um, in the middle of the budget. <clears throat> uh, both of us have been active in, in in campaigning with the Chancellor for support for smaller airports. So you can imagine, it wasn't just with surprise, it was with an extraordinary level um, of anger and irritation that we got this news. But Roger, and I have to say everyone uh, who's organised this meeting, who was part of the ACOL meeting, and who's been generating so much support uh, within the community for Manston, have done a huge amount of work to help and assist us. We have got the political support right across parties, right across all the different authorities behind this particular um, campaign. We've got the community. I mean, I haven't been in a meeting this big for very, very many years. So, you know, we have got the community. The community is behind this. And what we also have, which represented in this room, is the business community. Because it is the business community that is part of the future of Manston. There are very, very important um, points to, to raise in terms of what we can do politically. <laughs> Roger rightly says that we have this working group that is starting on Monday. That is about, in many ways, devising an important plan. And that plan is bringing together a lot of different people. So, for example, locating Kent, UK trade and investment, um, ensuring that we've got the treasury support in ensuring that we've got the Department of Transport support. Because there are three elements to this. The buyer, the seller, and the plan. And Roger and I are absolutely determined to put together as much support for the plan for the future of Manston as we can, even at this particular moment where we are in between knowing whether we have got a true seller and a true buyer because we are ready to move and we will move the minute there is any form of progress on a new person or, as Roger rightly says, um, Anne Gloag, maintaining the airport. There are a couple of other things that Roger touched on that I think we should really highlight. And that is that Roger and I are going to be organising a meeting to talk about Heathrow. Roger rightly says that Manston is a national asset. It is. And we've got huge problems with capacity at Heathrow. How can we work with Heathrow to actually wrestle some of that capacity for us at Manston? These negotiations have never taken place before. We're going to instigate those to try and bolster this plan. We're going to ensure that we actually start to put Manston as a national asset on the map. And we're also going to be looking at getting meetings We're also very interested in having meetings with, um, with good old Boris uh, to talk about some of these interim requirements because, again, we don't believe that people have really put that strategic plan in place previously. Roger and I are trying to open the doors, uh, leverage the support, and with Roger absolutely at the helm, I tell you, we're moving things pretty quickly. Both of us feel as if we'd been here before, because of course not so long ago we had the same problem um, with the Pfizer closure. There we have act actually secured um, a huge amount of progress. We've been able to pull together the levers of government, working together with business and working together with the politicians in the area and nationally. We intend to do the same again, but we need to ensure that we get both the buyer and the seller and an operator who is prepared to implement that plan. We're working for you, we're working for Manston, and we will do everything we can to ensure that we get a long-term, sustainable future for a great airport. Thank you very much.